Hello my friends, um, I'm sure you understand today is Sunday, you're aware today is Sunday and I will be discussing this very news. This was one of the biggest deals in my MKUltra case on which Mr. Kaczynski have insisted. Uh, he believed he would profit from exactly what you see here through to me. Uh, and <laughs> as I do not see myself in any way in his double-faced, hypocrite, politic, hateful, Moscovian, Kremlin politic. Um, I did discuss this issue earlier today uh, with a individual who is inside of this room on what exactly the scenario followed downstairs with me in a little bit I'm going to show you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my view. This really specially concerns people of Poland, Poly Polish people, but at the same time it also concerns Ukrainian people uh, and Czech and Slovak and everyone else out there uh, that should understand. It concerns Russian people as well. They should understand really the value of this news here uh, because it's going to be, it already is misinterpreted. I'm going to give you a complete background on Kaczynski's views, where he's going to continue from within, uh, if because he's a speculator and this is just a double-faced, without any kind of personality, without any kind of um, ethics individual. I wouldn't even call him a fish, really, or a snail. Uh, it's just, you know, it reminds me. I would not go into it. It's a little bit heavy. Have to leave this for some other occasion. But you know, there's nothing humane in this individual. Uh, this is more than worthy news to discuss in deep. Reveal basically Polish politics completely, butt naked. You can see that there are already people here protesting in Warsaw. Uh, in fact, it says hundreds of far right supporters marched in Warsaw on Saturday to protest against U.S. law on the restitution of the Jewish property since during and after Durin or after World War II, uh, an issue increasingly featuring in campaigns for upcoming Polish elections. Um, let's go and I will explain to you in detail what exactly this news means for you Polish people. Um, what it means for international society and everything else, where exactly this news is, where we are standing with this news, okay? But first, let's see this thing here. Uh, this is, th these are doors from psychologists here in the building, which you, I don't really pay attention to as I walk to the dining room, but today on Sunday, as I stated, I'm sure you're aware, today is Sunday, these doors were open. Uh, you can see the uh, hours the right there, not today. today. By the way, today is the Sunday. Uh, what is it, and like four times a week during the, the work days? I would not today. Kind of subject. In fact, if I would favor Israel in this case. Yes, that's what I was taught. Uh, if I go again. Under MKL trial, I was taught that if something like this is going to happen, I'm going to be pushed out of the Poland through psychiatry, through what you see right there. This, you know, is just a trick Mr. Kaczynski have used through Slovenia, through Borut Pahor. Borut Pahor <clears throat> was the one who gave him... Borut Pahor is extremely familiar. This is Slovenian president. This is individual who was involved in MKUltra. Um, and it's quite fascinating how in depth, in detail, uh, Kaczynski entrusted Borut Pahor details about the Polish politics views. He consolidated him on issues and I remember those issues extremely well. So I am going to give you a good background on this, on exactly what you see here, because this is a politic that is crucial for Eastern Europe and as such is crucial for the world too. Um, yeah, Kaczynski believed that um, he will intimidate me to the point that I will run out of the Poland through exactly what you see here. For what I have stated right now, 
I do have a proof because there were other people that noticed that door was open. Um, door was open just because it was a cleaning day today. That's what I was told. I have never observed anything like this on Sunday that they would go and clean the psychologist's office. But, you know, this is just um, a lot of stuff is happening here. I have not uh, observed, but it happens and it's happening like this according to MK Ultra scenario. Okay, so this is this is the news I will talk about and Polish people should pay special attention to this news. For this news, in fact, I believe they really should award Mr. Donald Trump location known as a Fort Trump. Now, this time I am saying this, this might be a little bit shocking to you, but this is a news, I believe, that is way more important for Poland than <clears throat> stationing U.S. troops in Poland. I believe this is like a mega news for the Poland. Uh, I think this is a news, the biggest, the best news for Poland since the end of the World War II, I would say. This is extremely important news. This is the news that might eventually give Poland uh, a real identity on a map. How would that be possible? Well, it's very, very possible. <laughs> um, yeah, you can hear what's happening. Mr. Kaczynski's politic is a politic is a basically a servitude to the Moscow, to the Kremlin. That's all there is to it. Uh, Mr. Kaczynski is financing Polish churches, but all for the wrong reason. Not because he would finance them for the sake of the Polish identity, but in fact with the idea to destroy, to wipe Polish identity once and for good for all. The same thing as Mr. Borut Pahor is doing in Slovenia with the idea to create Great Serbia, uh, Big Serbia, known previously as Yugoslavia. It is exactly the identical type of what we are dealing with here. Okay. The Polish Church, I'm not going to say unwittingly, but in many cases it's not, <laughs> it's not even out of ignorance or anything like this. In many cases, some priests, certain, they know what is happening with what this money does. Uh, but they're quiet because they get churches rebuilt, uh, the church structure that was you know, decimated after um, you know, incursion of the Soviets here, Russians, uh, is gaining back its strength. This is like religion-wise, financial-wise. But they do not understand that Kaczynski is Kremlin, Moscow politic, which resulted in Poland in enormous female rape cases. This is like a favorite number one Russian rape destination. This is where Russian politicians would come and come uh, to rape females here. And get away basically without any consequences, anything. It's pleased. In fact, this is special video, special detail I will reserve to Mr. Kaczynski because I'm going to give a really good description about this worm, who this snail, whatever you want to call him, who really he is. Mr. Kaczynski is using church, therefore hiding behind the church you know, presenting himself as a God-fearing individual, somebody who is for traditional Polish values while subjecting falling, uh, Polish males to MKUltra torture, uh, taking them straight across the border to Kaliningrad or to the Belarus, and from there also to Russia and so on. This is his traditional politic, this is basically, if you want to summarize his politic, this is, this is his politic. 2010 plane crash where his brother and his wife, his Belarus wife supposedly were uh, 
killed about 100 Polish patriots, uh, on which, however, there was no Mr. Kaczynski and there was no, no wife of his. The two were in the Russia already a long time before this happened. The two disappeared. And so the whole thing was delayed for no less than nine years. Nine years. If you remember a plane crash in Ukraine, a Dutch plane, they did the whole reconstruction of the, uh, of the accident plane, everything like within a day or two they started to work and that they appeared over there. And really this isn't because Russia would be a bow bow and the Polish investigators would be afraid to go into Russia to even investigate something like this. Don't be stupid. Poland is part of the European Union, I'm sure you understand. Um, is just Morawiecki, Duda, these are his students that basically take order from Mr. Kaczynski, from the Kaczynskis. It's basically the politic that is run behind the curtain. It's a Soviet, it's a very, very pro-Soviet politic that is run. Okay, so what this got to do with that is basically that this double-faced politic of Kaczynski, which he was using my personal case because this was the reason why I was and tortured here in Poland, uh, smacked, slapped by Jews, by Israelis, by Netanyahu's team, threatened. They did with me whatever they were pleased basically to do. So Kaczynski could go and portray my case to the Polish politicians, to the locals here. Uh, along with Netanyahu, he broke on half center of the Poland, which is Lodz area, that's says Gersh Lodz, and have divided the community into anti-Jewish community and um, people that have a DNA features, basically, that Polish people that populate this area here in Lodz, in Zgirsh, what is left for them to do other than, you know, to appreciate themselves. I mean, if you're normal, you're going to go and you're going to appreciate yourself. But if you appreciate yourself as a Polish, it's actually nobody standing behind you. It's actually nobody out there to give you a hand and say, you're part of the Poland. Uh, you have the right to stay here and be Polish. And now in many cases, you have community that have turned pro-Israeli and so on, which only created more problems for them. And this we go again to the issue of Kaczynski. It's basically breaking Poland with issues with selection, this selection of the Jewish DNA out of the area of Poland, basically. That fits a neo-Nazi politic. That fits a Hitler politic. But this is something we have seen Russia have financed also in Italy, Lega Nord, they financed Le Pen in France, British National Party, uh, so-called British, because I don't know what, what Nazism had to do really with the British. In Germany, AFD, AFD, and so on and so forth. So, this is again the politic that is extremely hateful politic, and with, through the ignorance, because, through the ignorance, because if you're going to start to break what he started to do in Poland, and I already have explained, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to have on the next step, and this is already happening, you're going to have Polish people that see themselves more a German than other Polish people, and therefore you are already having now uh, decay of the Polish society. Uh, you already have now the war not between what I have gestured are people with Jewish DNA features, but you already have now between war between the Polish and certain people that start to consider themselves German, more German than Polish and so on. And it's going to be more and more like this. What's happening, you're going to decimate, break the Poland on half. You're going to ruin you. Actually, the final goal of Kaczynski is, his belief is to basically wipe Polish identity, like I said, through the church, hiding himself behind the church. Make no mistake, this is an evil that is unprecedented. Nothing good would cause crash in 2010, I can tell you that. There is no holiness, there is no propolinus here. 
there is just anti-Polish sentiment he has. This is a very, very Kremlin-oriented, very, very Moscovian, the worst ever individual in the Polish history we are dealing with here. And so, what exactly this news means for the Poland? What this news means for the Poland is, number one, center of the Poland large Zgirsh area where people were decimated financially because of this. Why? Again, we go through Kaczynski's politic, through Kaczynski's politic by Scandinavians, Germans, Americans, British, the rest of the Europe, with idea to diselect this Jewish DNA, they were starved by Kaczynski not approving, allowing foreign governments, foreign business people to invest into this area here. And I can tell you that this was like a big, big issue. Large unemployment right here. A lot of people would love to have jobs, young families and so on. But it's a social engineering, it's a selection that is taking place. It's a kill of the certain group of people here in the Poland that is taking place. This is very, very real what I'm talking to you about. Um, Kaczynski basically completely agreed to serve foreign interests, basically. This is exactly what this means. What this means is that this Jewish reinstitution of this Jewish property, I believe, will help big time to the people in Zgersh to lodge, to build, to rebuild their community, to place back on a map factories, industry, uh, prosperity, basically. This is how I see this thing as. And they more than deserve it. Because... There is no Poland without one part of the Poland gone. What also this means is that the Poland no longer would be only open to the Kremlin politic. It no longer would be open only to the Moscow, but it would become more cosmopolitan. Meaning that it would open itself more towards other principles that are freedom-oriented to the real Poland, to the real Poland basically. Because Poland was just listed on a neo-Nazi map as a people state that should be wiped out. Hitler had a purest intention of wiping out entire Polish population, make no mistake. You can go and see through the Wikipedia that was not the Jewish people that were listed only. He had an East plan and the East plan was pretty much to wipe the entire Slavic population. And so what this means, it means money for the Poland, it means industry, where industry was blocked in the past, it means prosperity for these people here, and it's, it's a good news. This is why I said this might be actually the best news that happened to the Poland since the end of the World War II. I am really, really looking forward to, um, to see a positive change for Poland. In fact, even the people that you see here protesting, uh, they might become self-aware uh, of their identity and, you know, rather than being betrayed, taken across the border to Kaliningrad or to the Belarus for biddings, uh, brainwash, all kinds of brainwash and stuff like this, uh, rather for the Polish church to you know, just be there, collect money, um, would be a change of uh, a servitude to the Poland rather than what the case is. Because what, what the case is, this is a totally suicidal politic. Um, Poland is basically today, if I summarize Kaczynski's politic, uh, doing a suicide through the church. This is just this is just a fact. Poland is just uh, struggling news around its neck through the church, and it's not in most of the cases when he goes to the uh, Polish church, priests are not aware of this. In most of the cases, priests are not even aware of this, but the priests are, are affiliated to Kaczynski. In many cases, are aware of that. Uh, I don't know how many of you would go percentage-wise that would be. 
uh, but it's enough that there are just few that can poison entire structure. We got a real problem in Poland and I sincerely believe and I sincerely hope that this news here that you see uh, is going to help Poland tremendously along the way. You know, it's more important than you know, where you were born, what part of the nation you are considered as, it's today, uh, it's more important to demonstrate what exactly can you do for the Poland, let's say for the country, than where you are coming from. So the Poland should not be afraid of this news. I see this news as extremely, extremely positive news, and I'm looking for a positive changes here in Poland for the Polish people. There was this psychologist girl that I have mentioned who in fact gestured me because of what was happening here. She mentioned to me, and that really discouraged me a lot, but I can I constantly evaluate many things all the time. I scan them. We were in Belarus with her and it angered me when she met me here in right here in front of this fire station here in Grotniki. She said she never was in any other country and stuff like this. She was in many other countries. She was in the U.S. too. We were, I was with her and her husband in Belarus and so on. Politic background behind the curtain politic became so tense that as she is a real Polish girl is what it is. She just had situations such that, you know, unfortunately many other Polish women have had. This is just something I have spoken about. I, I don't know how otherwise to explain it. Brought her to the point that at some point and stage in time, she was actually thinking about that she would even have to run across the border. And that would be basically Russia or Belarus definitely would be. Well, folks, it's time to push not the people like this that are victims of evil, but it's time to push the real evil across the border. It's time to push the real evil. It's time, and I'm not going to say through the psychiatry, but through the police, to get Kaczynski and his henchmen. Because the time came for the Poland to finally, as I stated, the biggest news after the World War II, it is. Because the open society uh, that is going to bring, that will disallow, you know, selection based on your physical looks and stuff like this, somebody di dictating basically how it's going to be to a politician inside of the country that is on the top, who is going to get jobs and stuff like this. It's time to stop this and put the real Polish politic, a real Polish identity back on the map. You see, you get me? This is why, this is how I feel that this is the best ever news since the end of the World War II for Poland. And again, it's more about what you can do for the country than where you are coming from. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, till next time. A little input about psychology, psychiatry, if you like. Um, it, it's basically it's like this. I am absolutely not under any um, stress, pressure. Um, this used to be actually a mental hospital here, I understand. They had people here with mental problems and so on. Um, all through, in all this, through what I was told the case, what it would be and this and that, I am not absolutely under any kind of pressure. I am not stressed about absolutely any kind of issue. There is zero, zero stress in me. After all, through it all, let's say, there is no stress, there is nothing. A few minutes, I am recording this. Or rather, I was angry. I was angry, I was angry. Um, and that's why I'm, I'm, I am really recording this stuff. So, you know, Kaczynski used, you know, there is no difference really in my view, in my eyes, between Slovenia and between the Poland. I don't actually feel like I'm in Poland right now. For me personally, I'm still in Slovenia right now because Kaczynski used Slovenian and Serbian psychiatrists to torture me uh, in Poland and they came to the United States as well. Uh, wherever Borut Pahor would be, wherever, whenever he was present, 
There were people from Ljubljana in psychiatric clinic and he was present here a lot in Poland. He was, he had psychiatrists, nurses right inside of this center, right here where I am, right inside of this room. And in the other room, right here in Grotnikiv, he had them in Denbuck near Warsaw. And before that, we were in Zakopane, we were in Novi Turk. And psychiatrists in Slovenia, Serbian and Slovenian psychiatrists, tortured me on behalf of politicians from Warsaw. Now, you want to say with approval of these politicians, you can say whatever it is that you want. Fact of the matter is what I have stated to you. So the difference today between the Warsaw, between the Belgrade, between the Moscow is zero. There is none. There is zero. You see, as far as Kaczynski's politic, future politic, because he's a speculator, he's a double-faced hypocrite, liar, snail, speculator. Uh, I would not call him a fish. Uh, his plan is to lean toward Germany now more. It's just the way it works. He is like a wind, whichever it blows, that's basically where he turns. I would call him a fish, really, he does not deserve to be fish. He's just some kind of gmizzle. That's pretty much where Poland is going to turn for help in respect to the news that I have explained to the Polish church. The only thing I'm going to say is that, and it's not only to the Polish church, but I'm going to say to you all that MK Ultra is a game of Satan. This is a satanic ritual. This is a play straight out of the Satan's book. Satan is equal to Bible, I would say. And the one that starts, at least in this case, this is proven fact, this, the one that uses this kind of stuff that, that is, in Slovenian, I could really properly explain this, the one that is taking advantage of this kind of stuff, his, his, his game ends before one even begins. And then it slaps ass really bad. In this case, it did. Zluda, Himera, Illusia, uh, it's gonna end um, straight in your butt, Mr. Kaczynski. It's coming straight at you. It's not, I think, I who will be running from Poland. I think it will be you who will be running to the Kaliningrad, to the Belarus, and might not even succeed.